All right, there, mate. How's it going? Ah, brilliant, George. Brilliant. Can't wait for today. Oh, I bet you can't. Look at your face. You can't hide it. <laughs> oh, I'm really excited. Really excited. Well, it shouldn't be too long now, Scroft. She'll be here. Don't you worry. I know. I'm just cleaning off the Volvo. I'm going to take this back soon. Um, be nice of Mick lend me this, but I don't need this now, do I? Nah. Right, well, I'll keep you informed anyway when he's here, and uh, I'll give you a shout. Ah, nice one, George. Appreciate that. I'll definitely want to be here when it gets dropped off. Ah, no worries. Well, I'll keep you updated, like I said. Cheers, mate. Cheers, mate. Ah, that should do, shouldn't it? Ah, that'll be fine, that will. Right, well, I'm going to head out anyway first. I've done the cows, uh, but I thought I might have a bit of time just to spread that solid fur, because then I can actually drop the... The spreader back off as well to Keith because I haven't done that, you know. Have you not done that yet? Well, me now, you better stop faffing, aren't you, and get a move on. Yeah, I will do. Will do. Um, trying to think what use. Oh, that reminds me, do me a favour, Scroft. What's that, mate? Will you jump in the Ford and uh, use that? What, your Ford? Well, it's my Ford, but which one are you thinking? I'm thinking that one there, the one you don't like me driving. Nah, not that one. Use the steep nose. All right, then. Yeah, I'll use that if that's what you think. Well, I think it needs a run out. Tom, Tom been using a bit. I've used it quite a bit. Uh, just use it. All right, then. I'll, uh, I'll crack on, then. See you in a bit. See you, mate. Fair play. We'll use the, the Ford. Let's go get this done. Bit strange. Hmm. We'll drop the Volvo off in a bit, anyway. I also, like I said, need to go up to Keith's and uh, get that all sorted out. I have been using this quite a bit. I don't know what he's on about. Oh well. Anyway, I did make a decision. After me and George went to see his friend Brixie and have a look at them tractors, which was a cracking idea, I did make a decision in the end. So I'm hoping she does the job. He is open anyway. And I think I'll, I'll leave it as a bit of a surprise when the delivery comes because it was a tricky decision. It really was a tricky decision, but I'm happy with the outcome I went with in the end, so definitely a bit of an upgrade on the Leyland. Right, so let's head out to the field. Now we have hit springtime proper in it now. You can see they've been starting to look a lot better. It really is. So yeah, springtime, great time of year, lots going on, it's right on the edge of summer as well, so just after that, all the harvest and everything, it all comes at a good time. Never mind the fact we're going to get in the grass field soon, that's pretty much ready as well, so we can, we can go out, we just need to speak to George about that, hopefully he won't mind doing that soon. And uh, yeah, just stopped at the cows because this, we have eight cows and six are on the verge of having calves, the other two are a little bit further behind, but yeah great news because probably in the next week or two we should have six calves on the farm we've been waiting some time for that we've got plenty of feed left but yeah we should probably go out and uh, make some more we haven't tried out that new baler much as well so it's all going to be pretty good stuff and you can see the linseed across from us is doing well so hopefully that will pay off quite a bit that's what me and George are hoping for anyway. Anyway, let's head up to this field. Have a quick look at it. Now, I have been checking it daily, and good news is we did germinate through. So the canola and the rapeseed is coming through. You can do this. Looks like a lot of the farmers around are actually planting in, because you can see that it's like he's probably growing... I don't know what they're growing. Could be a bit of wheat or barley, something like that. Anyway, let's have a quick look at this. There you go. Canola in the ground. Looking pretty decent as well. Not one patch in the field that doesn't look right so far, so this fertilizer should go a long way. So let's get in the field before it gets before it gets too long and we'll start damaging it. Should make easy work of it with this. Not an hard job at all. Uh, 
last little bit. It's the easiest job in the world to do some spreading. It really is. But yeah, that's job done. So we can go drop this off to Keith. Give it him back, finally. Depends how much fertiliser is in it. Because if I take it back in the sun, George is not going to be happy with me. It isn't usually, anyway, so... Oh, there's probably too much in there. We're going to have to drop that back off at the farm, I'd say. So let's go do that before George gives me a telling off for taking some of his product over there. Even though he gets on with Keith, if I give him free stuff away, George ain't going to be happy with me. Well, let's just quickly drop this off. The best thing to do is just leave it around here because we're going to have to take it back. And I want to try and take it back with the Volvo, knowing that I've got to drop that off as well. So if we just drop it down here, we can sort that out after, can't we? So we do need to empty it out, so... Yeah. Bit of a job, but not too much. Just... I'll put it somewhere. It's easier to take it out than getting told off by George, anyway. There we go. Good spot. Hey, oh, hey, oh. they're about here, about five minutes away. Oh, huh? No way. Whereabouts do you think they'll come? Well, I think we should head down to the main road. Oh, come on, then. I'm coming, I'm coming. Hold up. Hurry up, George, aren't I missing this? I'm behind you, bloody hell, fine. Chill out. Come on. Yeah, I'm coming, I'm coming. Oh, I can't wait for this, George, I really can't. I know, I can tell. Hey, have you had a look at Linseed? How's it getting on? It's doing really well, George. Honestly. Really well. We can have a look now. Ah, I do intend to. <laughs> yeah, honestly, it's fine. It's fine. You should see the uh, canola I'm growing. That's come up pretty good as well. Oh, that's good, then. Isn't it? Love this time of year, I do. Yeah, me too, George. I was just saying the exact same thing. Best time, isn't it? That in summer, you can't go wrong. Yeah, summer's great. Summer is great. Hey, I didn't tell you, but the grass is ready. Literally. Is it the perfect time now to do some mowing if you want to head out in the field? Well, why not? If you think it's ready, we'll uh, start mowing then, I guess. Yeah, I think we should. I mean, the cows are about to pop, aren't they? We've got six coming. I know, I can't wait for that. Waiting ages for that. Ages, I tell you. It feels like we've been trying since we started. I know, I know. Are you sure they're going to come this way? Well, I imagine so. I wouldn't be going up no dirt tracks or proper dark country lanes. This is about as main as it gets around here. I can hear something, George. I can definitely hear something. George, it's here. There's a truck here. Right, well, hold up then. Hold up. Come on. Oh, the suspense is killing me, George. What are you on about? You know what you got. You give me the money for it. Are you excited, George? Obviously not as much as you. I think you'll be a bit surprised. Wow, what do you mean? Well, just wait and see. you got eyes, haven't you? You'll be able to figure it out when you see it. Right, then. It's coming up now. I oh, know, he's taking his time, isn't he? I know, but it's an hefty thing, isn't it? You heard it. He's here now, he's here. Blimey now, is that a Volvo? What do you mean? What about the truck? Oh. There she is, George. Ah, oh, there she is. There you go, buddy. Just what you wanted. Ah. There she is. Hey, oh. What, what's, the, what's with the fast track? Oh, well, I didn't tell you, did I? I've gone and bought that. You're joking me. Well, I mean, Al, George, I didn't expect you get one as well. You kept that secret. Ah, oh, well, when I saw it, I thought, why not? It kind of just stood out to me. I thought I could do with a bit of an upgrade. You know I like the second I'm brand new. Yeah, I know. Well, I mean, Al, well, look at us. Two new second hand brand new tractors, eh? Ah, can't go wrong, can you, Scroft? Right, well, stop faffing then, get them off. Yeah, we'll do, we'll do. 
Oh, and do me a favour. The forge you were in, you're going to have to put that on. What, the steep nose? Ah, let's go and trade it in. Ah, so that's why you got the fast track then? Yeah, basically, got myself a bit of a deal, traded in that, gone with a bit of an upgrade. Fair play. Right, well, you take the strapping off and I'll go get that then. Ah, right, will do. Blooming hell, fire. Look at that. George has got himself a fast track. Top man. Do you know what? I don't blame him. It's a cracking tractor. I mean, if I could have gone for that, I would have, but... Fair play to him. Right, well, I didn't expect that. Makes sense now why George wants, wanted me to drive the Ford. i give it a run, just make sure everything was alright before it went. Then again, he took a bit of a risk with my history of tractors. Imagine if I broke it. Alright, well... It's been a good tractor. It really has. But I guess it's time for it to go. Can't wait getting this tractor. I really can't. Right, where am I going to put this? Let's just pull it over. Just over here for a second. Should be alright. Ah, oh, it's got the strapping off anyway. Yeah, let's leave this here. And then we'll, uh, we'll put it on. Ah, there you go, mate. Got strapping off and uh, I'll start them up as well. Right, yo. right uh, yeah, I'll just stop in, eh, and start taking them. I want to take you along, mate. Oh, man, I'll fire. Nice in here. Hey, it's nice in here, George. Well, I don't get any ideas. You got your own now. <laughs> yeah, I know. It is nice. Oh, well, the tractor, that's why. You're going to be alright getting through there. Don't scratch it. We'll just add it. Yeah, I know, I know. I'll do my best. Don't worry. Right, there we go. Watch out, George. I'm moving. Don't worry. Right. Let's just park that here for a second, eh? should be fine there I've just parked them up here George I won't park them away just yet we'll just get get these off so we can head off man that was a good idea well check in there's no one coming up right um, right here we go here we go no way man what a tractor and it's got a radio Come on, stop faffing. People might turn up then. You're going to stop them from going. I know. I'm just admiring it, George. I'm just taking it in. Well, you can do that in a second. Just come on. All right, then. Here we go. Look at this. Oh, she sounds good as well. She really does. Let's go put this forward on and say goodbye to it. Right, George, I'll, I'll put this on now. Do you want to say goodbye to it? Nah, be right. She's done as good. She's done as good. She'll get more use, hopefully, when she's sold off. Bricks, he'll look after her. Ah, I'm sure he will. He sound that Bricks is. I tell you now, he's done a good deal here. I told you, didn't I? I said. Better options than that Volvo. I actually like the Volvo, I'll be honest. But, you know, it is what it is. Ah, oh, keep going, keep going. Ah, that's it, stop her there, Scroft. Radio. Right, strap it down, mate. Will do. That should do, shouldn't it? Ah, uh, sound, I'll tell him. He's good to go. Radio, George.
like we got a new fleet. Oh no, exciting, isn't it? Right, well, I guess we're gonna have to park them up, aren't we? I'll leave that to you. Well, so you don't mind me driving the JCB then? Nah, you can drive it, man. But I'm not too sure about you driving the Ford still. <laughs> I'm alright with that. Technically, you've just got a JCB and you're gonna let me drive it. Well, it's replacing one I'll let you drive anyway. Just got a bit more juice. Ah, oh, what is it, George? Uh, 159. 159? It's not bad, is it? And what was the one you've just swapped in? The 7740. Uh, 95. Well, there you go then, George. You've, ju you've jumped up from 95 to nearly 160. Ah, uh, but she's not as big as the Massey. The Massey is actually 160. So the JCB is just lacking that one horsepower. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty much the same, isn't it? Ah, uh, pretty much. Anyway, you haven't noticed yet, have you? Have a look at yours. What am I looking at? Well, what did you order? I went with the Case 5130. And? It's the 5150, George. I know it is. That was more money. I know it was. Well, what did you do? Ask him for a... Did you get it? I'm confused, what... Well, what did you do then? Did you just tell... Get... Did Brixie just... I'm I'm confused, George. What's going on here? Well, me I'll fire you. You are dumb, aren't you? I paid the extra for you. You didn't? I blooming did. Jesus, George. You're joking me. So I sent you over my nine grand. Told you I owed you a grand already. This was ten. And you went and paid that extra two and a half? I did. You didn't need to do that, George. I... Man, I'm... that's proper grateful. Nice one for that. Oh, well, you deserve it. You've worked hard. And I want to see you do well. I really do. And I mean that. I want to see you do well. And I know how much that field means to you, so... You've got yourself 125 horsepower now. 25 horsepower. Nice. I think this is my proper first tractor, innit? Oh, I'd agree. I think that Leyland's definitely a good first, though, but this is your first proper one. Four wheel drive. You can do a lot of work in this craft, and I expect you do a lot of work in it as well. You don't need to just use mine now, you've got your own. You can work on my farm and do your own things. Oh, nice one, George. Honestly. I appreciate it massively. I mean, I know I owe you a thousand, but I'll happily pay you the two and a half. No, I don't worry about the two and a half. You just pay me the thousand, what you were going to do. Two and a half to treat from me. Nice one. Thanks, George. Honestly, thank you. I'll make good use of it, I promise you. I know you will. I know. Anyway, stop this moping now. Let's go get some work done. You've got plenty to do. We'll take that spreader back. We'll take that blooming Volvo off my land. I don't want to see that again. <laughs> I'll get rid of the Volvo, don't worry. And then, uh, yeah, park that JCB up for me. Ah, will do. Nice one, George. Thanks again, mate. Ah, oh, no worries. It's good to see a smile on your face. Cheers. See you in a bit. See you in a bit. <laughs> George. What an awesome guy. Got the 5150. 125 horsepower. Look at her. She is a beaut. He did say I could admire it later on. And that is what I'm doing. Stick that radio on. There we go. Right, 125 horsepower up inside this. Now I do need to just move this out of the way quickly because we are going to use this. Take that spreader back. So I have spoke to Mick earlier on in the day. And he does know... I'm no longer going to sell him the Leyland for parts. I am actually keeping it. I know it's not going to run, but I'm hoping one day to get that thing back up and running, back to its finest. But right now, it doesn't really matter, because we've got that beast. So, uh, yeah, he's expecting me, and I've asked him just to put the Leyland on a trailer for me to bring back to the farm. And I'm going to try and park it just out of the way. Hoping it won't mar the... On the farm while we do that, but we'll find a spot for her. 
I'm sure of it. But let's go park this up first for George. And then we can head first off up to Keith's drop it off. The spreader. And then while we come back we can pick up Leyland. And I can go drop that trailer off later on in the day. It's a little bit more of a tight squeeze. Park this up in the space to where the Ford used to be. But, do you know what I have to say? George's done well here. He really has. Look at his arsenal now. He's got that 7810 Ford. He's got an old school JCB fast track. Looks perfect. Probably should turn the beacon off though. There we go. Yeah, look at that. Spot on. Spot on. And then obviously he's got his massive, which is just behind there. He's doing pretty well, George, isn't he? Right, so Volvo's going to have to go back. I'll do that in a bit. First, let's go drop off this spreader and then go pick up a Leyland. And we'll tell Mick as well. Right, so there we go. I've, I have emptied out all the fertilizer in the back of the spreader. Let's ready go back. Oh, it's such a nice tractor to drive as well. It's got a great turning on it as well, which was, was important to me. I was uh, having a look. It was a difficult choice in the end. I did like the Zeta a lot. And probably. You know, I could have quite happily gone with the Zeta, but I thought the case just had a bit more power and would do me well. And luckily, with us having a dealership in Carmson, that's a case. You know, if I need parts, I can get them. Ah, there she is. Ah, oh, that's the trailer then. That's good. It's ready to go. Let's just quickly head down to Keith's. And then we can, uh, yeah, sort it out. I will speak to Mick as well on the way back, just to let him know that I won't... <laughs> keep the Volvo, I am dropping that off or else George is going to kill me anyway probably heard yourself how adamant he was to get rid of that we will do that oh, look at this tractor it's going to do a cracking job this is we might even be able to do quite a lot of grass work with it but we've got to also keep in mind we've got to use uh, George's tools as well for his jobs we might be just using mine Lots of work to do. I feel like we've made a massive stride. Looks like no one's in. Keith must be out. Oh well, if we just drop it in here, I'm sure we'll find a place for it. I'm sure we picked it up from here anyway, so no better place really. There we go. He's definitely not around. He might be up in his other farm. Who knows? Keith. We'll be out on some mad mission. I just love the sound of this tractor though. It's been kept in good nick. You can tell that it's either been looked after whilst it's been used or Rixie's has done it up really well. Because the paint job definitely faded, but it's you can tell that it's been touched up at times. There's hardly a scratch on it. up to this then we'll go quickly have a chat with Mick just to let him know what our plan is there we go job done right there we go Nice to see her back. Shame she doesn't run, but... Ah, well. It's nice to have her back. Whilst pulling her on the new tractor as well. Stunning. Absolutely stunning day. One of the best days I've had. Over the moon. Are you there, Mick? I'm just in the back. Coming through. How's it going? Yeah, not too bad, you? I'm, I'm good. In fact, I'm, I'm great, Mick. Honestly, I'm great. I'm buzzing. Wow, that's nice then. Let me guess, you got your tractor? I have. Do you want to come have a look? Ah, I'll come have a look. There we go. There she is. Ah, oh, nice. 550. Not a bad tractor. Four-wheel drive. You've gone up in the world there, Scroft. 
I know, I know. That's why I haven't decided to uh, sell the Leyland. I'm going to try and keep hold of it, and then if I do find some parts, I'm going to try and fix it. I think it'll be a challenge. Well, I'll be there if you need any help. Ring me up if you need a bit of advice. I'll happily give you an helping hand, you know. I won't be charging you anything for that as well, because... I like seeing these tractors restored. Got to keep them, keep them going, haven't we? These old ones. I agree. I agree. I appreciate that, Mick. Anyway, right. Well, my plan is anyway. I'm just going to drop this off now. Um, I'll find a way to get it off. That's going to be fun. Might have to push it and just put it in neutral. I won't be asking George for help though, as you can imagine. Nah, I can imagine. Uh, and then my plan is to to just drop the Volvo after. So I'll probably bring that up with the trailer if that's all right. Ah, that's fine, no no worries. No worries, I, I'll be honest, I didn't expect you to have it a bit longer, so... Yeah, no rush at all. Just do what you gotta do, Scroft. Alright, Mick. Right, well, I best head off, but nice one. Ah, cheers, see you later. Oh, there we go. Looks like it's secure, so let's go. We'll go this way round. May as well. Bit of a bump there, we'll have to go slow over there. There we go. Managed to put it in neutral and just push it down. So the next bit's going to be the difficult part. Moving it somewhere and then, yeah, figuring out what we're going to do with it. And I'm hoping <laughs> George will have a plan for that. But in the meantime, let's get this Volvo back. Definitely uh, get it long enough now. And I think George will be happy if I just take it and get it out of his sight. <laughs> He has got something against Volvos. I don't know what it is. He doesn't like Volvos. Anyway. I actually like it, I'll be honest. I think it's a nice, nice motor. Anyway, let's get this sorted. Take it back to Mix. And that's all done. We can mark that down as job done. We'll get back, check on the cows. And, uh, yeah. Should be enough for the day. Oh no, where's this come from? I don't know, George. Just started raining. It was a nice day earlier on. I don't know. Anyway, I brought you a brew. Oh, nice one, buddy. Nice one. Get under the shelter here. Oh, I will. I will. There you go. That should be enough for you, shouldn't it? Oh, it's fine. That is blowing the other way anyway. Oh, did you get everything done in the end? Yep, yeah, all done. Volvo's gone. Thank God for that. Best news of it all day, that is. Thank God. <laughs> well, that's gone. Spreader's gone back to Keith, but he wanted, so I just dropped it off where I found it. Ah, oh, should be fine. And yeah, parked up the tractors. Sorted the cows out. Just checking on them now. Got to keep an eye on them now, George. They're not far off. I know, ah, oh, six cars soon, six cars. And there'll be two more after that, not long. Are oh, you happy with your tractor? I'm absolutely over the moon, George. It's stunning. Brilliant tractor. Couldn't ask for anything else. Got Leyland back, I don't know if you've seen it. How can I miss it? You've left it right in the yard. I know, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I thought you could help me out with that. We'll have to it, won't we? Find a spot to it there, just leave it. So you can figure out what to do with it. I know, ah. Uh, I know. I'm sure we'll sort it. Tell you what though, George, should be good soon. Calves on the farm. Do some grass work again. And before you know it, we'll be doing the harvest. It's not bad life, is it, being a farmer? Nah. 
One of the best lives you can have. I do love this farm, you know. I love it. I love being at Carmsden. I love this farm. I really do. That's good, isn't it? If it's your farm. I know. I'm for right. Just, I'm alright. Just, uh, just give me a second. Alright, then. Thank you.